Man, and I use the term ever so loosely. A new day, new start, uh, primary drive. Uh, kicked my ass yesterday pretty bad. Uh, but today we're going to go at it again. I got five thousandths of an inch oversized lifters, and I need to stuff them in the stock lifter bodies. Uh, we're going to take these out to the lathe, skim a little bit off the inside, and uh, use a little ball hone on them to make them fit. Uh, anyway, out to the dirty shop. I got to remove five thousandths of an inch of uh, material. So that's two and a half thousandths per side from this bore. That's not very much. Uh, I'm going to move the boring bar out towards the towards me uh, until it just barely skims this surface. Uh, I'll make a pass, see where we're at, and you know make whatever adjustments are necessary. All right, I hear contact being just barely made. I'm power feeding in. All right, very good. The, the uh, boring bar just barely made contact. So we'll take, uh, let's see, I'll dial out right there. That should be about two thousandths. All right, I just reversed the feed and I'm power feeding out. Okay, the lifter starts into the bore. I could probably force it in there, but I don't want to force it in there. Uh, so this is just about right. Uh, 
We'll pull this out and we'll hone it and uh, it should be good to go. All right, here's the uh, honing operation. I'm just going to show you one of them. A little honing oil. I just uh, rinsed this one off in the parts washer. It's a little tight still. So here's the finished product. Uh, they took a little more honing than I would have liked. I should have bored another, you know, half a thou out of here uh, to save me some honing time. But anyway, uh, they all slide very smoothly up and down. There's really no detectable side play in any of them. Uh, nice, nicely done, if I do say so myself. And just to FYI, uh, these tappets are Eastern. Uh, V-Twin sells a sifted branded tappet. And uh, I ordered those. I ordered a set of those once a long time ago. Uh, they were junk. Um, one of them was cracked across here, and I suppose it was from the process of crimping uh, this pin in there. Uh, on some of the other ones, the crimp on this rivet or the axle uh, was not, it stuck out far, and what happened was the uh, axle was binding on the sides of the lifter body. Uh, you know, I sent them back, and they gave me my money back, but, you know, just another hassle you don't need. Uh, these eastern ones are not bad. Uh, the bearing is made in Japan, which, you know, really is a step up from made in Taiwan or China or Pakistan. Uh, I don't mind made in Japan. Japan has got some quality stuff going on as far as bearings are concerned. So anyway, finished product right here. We're going to install these and uh, we're going to install some more brass hardware. Uh, this one fit very tight into the case, and the opening closed up, and now the uh, lifter doesn't uh, slide up and down. So we're going to have to address that. Same thing, this one too tight in the case, and I'm going to have to open this one, these, uh, well, I'm either going to have to take a little off the outside diameter of the lifter body, or uh, make the bore bigger, one or the other. Let's see how this one does. And this one is good. So these two, I'm going to have to do something to them. Okay, here's what I found on both of the lifter bodies that were binding up. Right here uh, is a mark where I took a sanding drum on a Dremel tool and flattened it. And the reason I did that was because there was a scuff mark over here that uh, 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 was obvious after I pried it out of the uh, crankcase. And what I think was happening is this. Both of the ones that were binding were opposite of one of these screws. 
I know this screw is not too long because it's a, a brass screw. It was, it was way too long and I had to cut it off to get it to fit in here. But this screw is directly in line with where the scuff mark was on the lifter body. And you can't really even feel it. I can't feel it, but it must be in there. Well, maybe I could feel it a little bit. But I think over the years, the gasket sealer and shit that was packed in here the screw was driving it into the lifter body, and it raised a little hump on the inside. Uh, had I found that before I put the cases together, uh, you know, I could have ran a hone down in there or a Dremel tool or something, but obviously now the motor's together, you don't want to be spreading all that aluminum dust in there. Uh, but watch this now. Okay, remember I had to knock that in with the hammer a little bit. Look at it now. In and out, no problem. So putting a little relief where that slight hump must be on the inside fixed the problem. Interesting. All right, this is uh, the hardened threaded rod, grade B7. So uh, we're making bolts, so to speak. with brass nuts on them for the uh, lifter block hold down. Yeah, 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 I know I say Loctite is evil, but every once in a while there's a, a good purpose for it. You know, so far, nothing here has really bolted together. Let's see if these will, quote-unquote, bolt together without further modifications. This one's a little tight. But yeah, some more brass hardware for this guy. He wanted brass as much as possible. Men, uh, I think I'm cutting you off today. I got to do a valve job, and I've been procrastinating about it. Uh... At some point, I got to get some work done, and the videoing gets to be difficult, and valves are kind of boring, I always thought. Uh, I've been trying to figure this out. Uh, I got a, you know, pile of parts came, and uh, I was trying to hammer the guide. I was trying to hammer the valve stem out of this guide, and the guide came out of the head. Uh... Well, I don't know. Somebody really must have fucked up. Uh, this looks like either a new valve or a freshly cut valve. It doesn't look like it was run very long. I mean, there's no marks on the seat seating area whatsoever. Uh, and yet here it is in two pieces. Ay ay ay. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. But anyway, for today, I am out of here. Uh, maybe if I get one of these done, I'll show you what it looked like. But... Uh, uh, this is going to be kind of tedious, kind of boring. Uh, a lot of the stuff on this engine that I expected to go easy went pretty hard. I expect this to be tedious, time-consuming, and not go well. Uh, so it'll probably go easy. But anyway, uh, we'll see you later. Uh, hey, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.